Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to see some important results of negative values in normal distribution for year 13 and IB students. Let's get started. Negative values in normal distribution. Let's see some important results here. Probability of Z greater than minus A less than B. This value is negative and this value is positive. We will first plot in the normal distribution curve the value minus A and B because this is negative. It will be in the left hand side of that curve. This is my normal distribution curve and the value minus A will lie here and B value is positive so it will lie on the right hand side of that curve. I have to find out the distribution in between them. This shaded area will be written as probability of Z less than B minus of probability of Z less than minus A. Probability of Z less than B value will be written as phi of B minus probability of z less than minus a this value will be written as phi of minus a we know that phi of minus a can be written as 1 minus phi of a before that there is a negative sign when you open the bracket here you will get phi of b minus 1 plus phi of a this will become the formula for this distribution of probability of z greater than minus a less than b. Let's see the another important result. Probability of z greater than minus a less than a. These two values are same. One is negative, another one is positive. Let's plot all the values here. Minus a will be on the left hand side. A will be on the right hand side. The same rule we will apply here also. If I have to get the distribution in between them, this will be written as probability of Z less than A minus of probability of Z less than minus A. This will be written as phi of A minus of phi of minus A. Phi of minus A will be written as 1 minus phi of A. If you open the bracket here, this will be minus 1 plus phi of A. Phi of A, Phi of A will be add up and it will give you 2 Phi of A minus 1. So this will be the formula for the distribution probability of Z greater than minus A less than A. You can apply this formula directly if you remember that. But if you don't remember that, follow this method to get the answer. Let's see one example here. If Z is normally distributed between mean 0 and variance 1, Find the probability that z greater than negative 2.696 less than 1.865. Show that the central 95% of the distribution lies between z is equal to negative 1.96 and z is equal to 1.96. First, we are going to do the first part here. Find the probability of z greater than negative 2.696 less than 1.865. This value is negative, so it is lying somewhere here. And this value is positive, it is lying here. I need to find out the distribution in between them. This will be written as probability of z less than 1.865 minus of probability of z less than negative 2.696. This will be written as phi of 1.865 minus of phi of negative 2.696 if i open the bracket here this will be written as phi of 1.865 minus of 1 minus phi of 2.696 if you open the bracket here phi of 1.865 minus of 1 plus of phi 2.696 we will find out the value of 1.865 from the table let's see the value here 1.865 this is 1.8 and this is 6 and the phi value is here 4 so this value is basically this one and this one we need to add it let's add it together here 0 0.9686 and 4 0 0.9686 and 0 0.00 4. If I add them, my answer will be 6 plus 4 is 10. 1 carry over, this will be 969.0. 0. 0. 0.9690, 0. this is the value here. 0. 0.9690, negative of 1. Plus, I need to get the answer for 2.696. 
let's see the value here 2.696 2.6 is here 9 is here and 6 is here 0 0.9964 and 1 let's add them together here 0 0.9964 4 and 1, 0 0.0001. We need to add that. 4 plus 1 is 5, 6, 9, 9 and 0. 0 0.9965. Let's write it here. 0 0.9965. If you add 0 0.9690 and 0 0.9965, you will get the answer as 1.9655. Negative of 1. If you subtract that, your answer will be 0 0.9655. This will be the answer. Let's do the second part here. Show that the central 95% of the distribution lies between Z is equal to minus 1.96 and Z is equal to 1.96. I need to get the answer negative value minus 1.96 is here. Positive value 1.96 is here. They both the values are same. I need to find out the distribution in between them. This will be written as probability of Z less than 1.96 minus of probability of Z less than negative 1.96. If you find out the answer directly, you can write down as 2 of 5 1.96 minus 1. But if you want to do it, let's do it together here. This will be written as 5 of 1.96 minus of phi of negative 1.96 this will be written as phi of 1.96 minus of 1 minus phi of 1.96 phi of 1.96 minus 1 plus phi of 1.96 1.96 and 1.96 will add up and it will be 2 of phi 1.96 negative 1 Let's figure it out the value of 1.96 from the table. 1.96. Let's see that here. 1.9 is here. And then 6. 6 is this value. My answer is 0 0.9750. Let's write down here. 2 times of 0 0.9750 minus 1. If you multiply that, your answer will be equal to 1.95 minus of 1 which will be equal to 0 0.95, which will be equal to 95%. This shows you that the central 95% of the distribution lies between Z plus minus 1.96. Let's see example here. If it is given that probability of Z greater than Z1, which is equals to 0 0.65 and probability of Z greater than Z2 is equal to 0 0.25, Find probability of Z greater than Z1 less than Z2. In this case, Z1 and Z2 are missing. They just gave you the distribution 0.65 and 0.25. From this distribution, I need to judge that this point Z1 is on the left hand side or on the right hand side. It will be helpful if you create the positions of Z1 and Z2. Think carefully about whether they are positive in the upper trail to the right of 0 or negative in the lower trail to the left to 0. If probability of Z greater than Z1 is equal to 0 0.65, as you can see that this is more than half the area. That means Z should be on the left hand side of the middle value. That means it should be in the lower trail. The area covered is more than half, 0.65. So Z1 must lie here so that you can cover more than half area. So this Z1 value is negative and it should be in the lower trail to the left hand side of 0. If probability of Z greater than Z2 is equal to 0 0.25, as you can see that this distribution is less than half, then Z2 must be to the right side of the middle that means in the upper trail. Z2 must lie here so that the distribution should be only 0 0.25. We will now find out the probability of Z greater than Z1 less than Z2. As we can see from here, Z1 is this complete portion and Z2 is this part. If I need to find out the distribution in between them, what I have to do? I have to subtract from Z1 the probability minus of z2 then i will get this distribution this shows you that probability of z greater than z1 less than z2 
will be probability of z greater than z1 minus of probability of z greater than z2. What is the probability of z greater than z1? That is equals to 0 0.65 minus of probability of z greater than z2 is 0 0.25. If you subtract it, your answer will be equal to 0 0.4. That is the distribution between probability of Z greater than Z1 and Z2. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Bye-bye everyone.